I am live. Okay, so yesterday I pre-painted uh, a bunch of toothpicks okay, for the post. Now, you could use piano wire, probably more prototypical, because um, you can buy piano wire in, in uh, different sizes. Uh, but for the sake of this, I'm just going to use uh, painted toothpicks. Then I use my brand new handy dandy HO multi scale, but it has HO on it, uh, ruler to determine how long my posts need to be. Hey, John, how you doing today? So my toothpicks are my posts. All right, I've got a paper cutter, and you don't need a paper cutter. You can use a chopper or just an exacto knife. And I'm gonna cut these down to size. All right, that's the first thing. And the area I'm gonna do, can't see, but I'll show it to you in a bit, is over by the meatpacking plant and the swing bridge. Uh, so, and it's roughly about 18 inches. Um, and HO scale, all right, one inch is, uh, you know, if I look it up again here, hey Lee, I am also doing well, John, uh, one uh, inch is roughly about just under seven feet. Yeah. Uh, so in this case, these are um, toothpicks are roughly two and a half inches, a little over two and a half inches. Um, so you're looking 14, you're looking about uh, 18 feet here. But I'm going to cut them, cut them in half, and then. When you put them down in the ground, you take some more of the distance off. But the final product for the chain link fence is going to be, in this case, about five to six feet. We'll see. Hey, how you doing, Kieran? Or Karen? Kieran? I want to say Kieran, like the Japanese beer. All right. One thing I'm going to have to watch out for is... These things falling through. Didn't think about that. But, 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 but. There we go. Now they won't fall through. Hey, what's going on, Jason? Chain link fence day. 
See if I can do it without chopping off my fingers. I've already pre-measured this. Okay. So I got my post cut. The next thing to do is the material. Now, when I was thinking about this, I remember seeing like some frilly type dresses and veils, a lot of bridal veils. Pinto's says red paint. We really know if you have no kidding. Uh, but bridal veils are made of this material. It's called, my wife calls it tulle, um, but I think it's tulle. Uh, it's T-O-U-L-E. All right. <laughs> well, I'm not I'm I'm hopefully not gonna chop fingers off. So as you can see on one or both cameras, if I get my fat fingers out of the way, I have this material laid out. I've got some pre-cut here somewhere that I can show you a close-up of. But it's so fine, it's hard to find. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring it up near this camera, maybe. Can you see that? And it's just like chain link fence. So we're going to lay out these toothpicks and glue these toothpicks down. And if I'm not mistaken, chain link fences, uh, they can be on a variety of lengths between posts, but I think they're about 10 feet. And keep in mind, I don't do prototypical. I do proto representative. <laughs> no, it's not aluminum window screen, Jason. This is this is a fabric. All right. Uh, you see it a lot on bridal veils and on uh, like princess dresses for little kids. Um, it's, again, it's called. My wife calls it tool. I call it tule. Hey, Rick. So. Um, and this shouldn't <laughs> be all that hard because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I've got my ruler laid out here and i got the fabric laid out and I'm simply going to put some wood uh, Gorilla wood glue all right, on the edge of a toothpick and lay the toothpicks on here with the point, a good good portion of the point hanging below where the fabric is. All right. Uh, and in that fashion, uh, it'll be set to stick in place. Exactly, Rick. Except I thought it was spelled T-O-U-L-E, but... That you're, we're talking the same stuff. There you go. Yeah, proto representative. <laughs> That's my term. I'm sticking to it. All right. Uh, as as long as it represents what you're trying to accomplish. All right. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. What's the old saying? It's my railroad. Okay. So, like toothpicks as an example. All right. They're probably too thick for fence posts. All right. Thus, if I wanted to be prototypical, I'd use this piano wire. All right. And I don't I would have to do the measurements and figure out what gauge piano wire I needed. This happens to be uh, 0.047. Uh, 
The only reason I have it is on the tortoises and snails, I think that wire that's supplied with them is too delicate. So I bought a thicker uh, wire to, to uh, uh, I won't have any problems with it. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I'm not a literature major either. So the next step is, and the, you know, <laughs> and this may be one of those deals. I may be pulling a Jason here, a train freak original, by trying to do something live and have it not work out. Because <laughs> I haven't done this before. This is uh, uh, just something I had in my head. And I said, you know, I'm going to try this. Eh, I'm bored. I might as well do a live stream. So I'm just going to stick some uh, glue down here. And uh, for those of you that uh, missed my very opening, I painted up a bunch of toothpicks earlier, um, yesterday actually. Okay. So we got those ready to go here. And a little uh, wood glue. Take my glasses off because I can't, I can't see. I do have my uh, do have my I thought I had my tweezers here. They're here somewhere. Oh well. So now I want to measure out 10 feet, which is going to put it right about here. And I probably have way too much glue on here. So I'll back the truck up a little bit. Now this this tool or tule, however you want to pronounce it, um, fabric. This is white, but for our purposes, it. Uh, it's going to look silver. I mean, I could have painted it, um, but I thought it might get too stiff and also um, fill in the uh, the chain link. So I, I, I wanted to stay away from that. And I need about um, 18 inches. Probably a better way of doing it. So who else am I missing? Hey, Pete, good to see you. And as you Brits would say, hope you're well. And then another 10 feet. All right, y'all can run a pool <clears throat> to see. Uh, you can run a number of pools. You can see run one to see uh, how many of these are going to fall off. Or if this is going to work at all. <laughs> we shall find out, huh? It should work. Like I said, toothpicks may be a little thick for this. Uh, and dummy me, I got all my toothpicks underneath the fabric. That figures.
<clears throat> like I said, this one, this fence is only going to be five, six feet tall, scale feet tall. I've got another one because it's not really a security fence. Um, I do have a security fences I need to put around my bakery and my lumber yard. But I didn't want to attempt those until I see if this idea here is going to work or not. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the smart money's going. <laughs> Put it this way. We won't know until tomorrow, Rick, if it works or not. Step two, Pete. You mean I'm not, this isn't my original idea? Shit. Luke Collin beat me to it. Well, damn. Hey, would it count that I thought of this idea in 1968? And just now got around to doing it. Does that work any better? <laughs> All right. How many inches I got here? Still got a ways to go. <laughs> well, my step two will be tomorrow when I, if it works, when I install it. I'll turn the camera around here in a minute and show you where it's going. Hey, Rick, there's nothing cooler than to see two uh, trains going across that double uh, bridge. See, the idea is I will come back with a straight edge and slice the tool or tule uh, right at the top of those posts. Yeah, two two material. We're on the same page. Yeah, I just happened to make mention of it to my wife, and uh, about 10 minutes later, she comes back. She goes, is this what you're thinking of? <laughs> yeah, it is. Who knows why the heck she had it? All of our kids are, god damn, are grown and gone. Um, getting back to the CA material. I'm afraid using CA, I would glue it to the board. Although I could probably use wax paper or something like that. Uh, I still may be glued to the board. Who knows? But that is one of the reasons I used uh, the wood glue, because I know I can uh, peel it off of it.
Yeah. Or little bags of, of candy type things. Is that what you're talking about, Rick? You know, it's not that I'm cheap, but you look at the prices on like a chain link fence kit and uh, crap, where's my, if you look at the prices like a, to buy a chain link fence kit, it's ridiculous. Right? Like, and there's a lot of stuff that, that applies to. And there are so much, so many other uh, possibilities. You know, I saw Lee making uh, uh, fences and walls, all kinds of stuff. Well, I've got the gel kind right here. Um, but again, I didn't. We'll see how this works. I've tried to use stuff like that, gluing, and it ends up sticking too much. I'm hoping I can just peel, peel it up. Parchment paper, I think, would work too. I'll turn this camera on. I'll show you where I'm going to put this mess. It'll be in that green section right there. Coming around and then back. So it fences in that area. Now I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> I really need to get my new computer. So that I can put in uh, some USB lines and switches. I got pretty good internet. My problem is the Surface Pro doesn't have the graphics capability to do everything I want to do. So, I think I should let it dry or should I cut it? Take votes. <laughs> Discuss. Yeah, I've got a uh, uh, a tower back uh, in my living room where my work my desk is, uh, and then I've got the uh, my uh, Surface Pro out here on my my uh, railroad bench, and I move it out to uh, 
my workbench out in the garage when I when I need to do something out there as well. I'll tell you what, one of the best things I did was add all the lighting in this room. Yeah, my plan, I know some of you have heard this before, but my plan, swing around, is underneath the desk here, put a, another tower and with a lot of graphics uh, capability, and then run a USB switch over midway under the layout where I can set up cameras or at least have plugs where I can set up cameras in different places for rail fanning. Here's where I need those security fences. Hey, does hair dryer work for, for drying glue? Anybody ever try that? Or a heat gun? I got a heat gun too. Probably a good point, but I could uh, I could run one USB hub um, over underneath here, and I could put another for two cameras, or actually probably down closer to the harbor, other side of the meatpacking plant, back over there. Put two cameras down there. Um, I can put two cameras directly off the PC and then put two more. And again, it's not the number of cameras, Rick. I can have the cords run to different places to plug cameras into. I can change them around. That's kind of the, the setting. The uh, Powered hubs give me the ability to get all the way down to the other side of the room. Hey, Chris. You think hair dryer works? Well, let me go get one. Hang on. I'll be right back, folks.
Yeah, Rick, you're never going to live down the tree. That was so funny. It's still the best live stream I've ever uh, watched. And Jason gets all the views. If there's anybody watching this stream that did not see the uh, Sidetrack Sunday Christmas special stream, uh, go visit the Train Freak and uh, watch that uh, that stream, the replay. It is <laughs> hilarious. It's tremendous. <laughs> Oh, Karen, you got to see it. Go over to the Train Freaks channel later and uh, watch it. The Sidetrack Sunday Christmas special. It's, yeah, maybe three hours long, John. <laughs> My, I was laughing so hard. My cheeks hurt the next morning. And Karen, don't forget to read the comments on the replay, the chat replay. I mean, the video is good enough, but some of the comments coming out, like we're seeing some on here. Um, what was it? I saw somebody just say. Well, like the tree mended.
Well, the ones I didn't uh, overdo the glue on look good. <laughs> the others, not so much. <laughs> Now, if I was doing this for a security fence, what I would do, what I would do for the security fence type, but, and when I say security fence, I'm talking about the ones that have the strands of bob wire on top. I think what I would try doing is simply taking the toothpick. All right, and kind of cracking it on the top. Yeah, right, right, Rick. All right, to get a bend to it. And then run a strand or two of uh, thin thread, or if they make a monofilament fishing line that's real thin, run it between across the top between them. I told y'all it may be tomorrow before the next step gets done. I'm warned in advance. But anyway, I think that's how I would do the, uh, the security fences. Well, the next step, Rick, is for me to cut it. <laughs> All right. I can't cut it till it's – well, I guess I could cut the other side. Well, hell. It's funny you should say that, Pete. <laughs> Be, being careful. Anybody want to guess what uh, uh, one of my jobs was? I, I was in the food distribution industry, but uh, one of my jobs, and it was a Fortune 500 company, was I was the corporate safety manager. Safety engineer and manager. Uh, yeah, and I got two of them right here, Rick. The problem is these are dull. I haven't changed the blades. I'm too lazy to go five feet over and get new blades. But I just replaced the blades in this. So, not inspector, man, corporate safety director. Yeah, I, I did safety inspections um, in my career, too. But, um, yeah, I'm the guy that dealt with the DOT, I dealt with OSHA, um, all of the fun uh, governmental regulations. 
Okay, so it's cut. Well, one spot I missed. Now I'll have to trim this up again to get it even. Okay, here goes. A chain link fence. It was stuck to the board, but it peeled up with the help of a little exacto.
Now, to find something appropriate, I guess my pen vise will work. Ooh, this will too. To poke the holes. Uh, Y'all busy yet? Now the base underneath here is uh, ceiling tiles. So it's fairly easy to poke holes into. Hey Rick, super glue, happy? <laughs> One nice thing, if I don't like the way it looks, I can always rip it out.
Well, bam. Sam. All right, got some trimming to do on it. What do y'all think? <laughs> Jason, that's what uh, Wilmer's supposed to say. I know, no blame he shirt. It's not Friday, guys. That's my Friday shirt. This, okay, for those that may not have, may not know, I have two hobbies. My other hobby is Japanese koi. All right. And that's what you're seeing on the back of my shirt. Uh, anyway. Uh, and if you look outside, there's the koi pond. So that's my first go at chain link fences. Um, yeah, I can refine my skill a little bit, I think. Uh, but for how long we've been on? An hour, maybe? Well, Rick, actually, it passes all Florida pool laws. All right, because my uh, HOA... You're not allowed to have structures built for pets. So it's actually a pool, but with specialized plumbing and filtration for koi. <laughs> no, Jason, that's that's the way a koi pond is supposed to be. These rock bottom septic tanks that you see people pass as uh, koi ponds aren't koi ponds. <laughs> 
But anyway, that's my other hobby. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like HOAs. Now, Tom's was a little out there, but HOAs actually do a good job. Oh, here's a – remember that piece of tool or toile I was looking for earlier? <laughs> Found it. I've been uh, swimming in there too, Rick. I mean, the water in there is as uh, clean or cleaner than any freshwater lake you want you go swimming at. Yeah, exactly, Lee. If it goes wrong, then we're going to blame he. But I think it's proto-representative. Yeah, I've got koi that are 32 inches, Karen. Most of my koi are 30 inches, give or take. There's nine out there in that pond. It's uh, 8,500 U.S. gallons, which is about, what, 7,000 imperial gallons. Well, if y'all, anybody's ever in Florida, let me know. You're welcome to come over and uh, look at the koi, feed the koi and run trains. Man, I was stumped the other day, the other day on that GP35. Back here, it there's one corner. It just curve. It would not go around without derailing in one direction. The other direction was fine. And for life, man, I couldn't figure out. Couldn't figure out. Couldn't figure out. I figured it was a track issue. So here I am tearing up and trying to fix track. Well, it wasn't a track issue. Um, although the truck turned and seemed to turn freely it was limited because of the way i put a speaker in in the cab all right and it wouldn't let it turn like 16th of an inch more and it would have been fine all right but i finally figured it out and got it fixed and it runs like a champ <laughs> My wife would shoot me if I put trains out there. But I seriously considered designing in, you can't see the waterfall from here because it's buried in those uh, ferns, but I seriously considered putting a uh, six inch pipe underneath that waterfall and running uh, tracks through it. <laughs> and it wouldn't have to be G or O, it could be H O. But the problem is, Koi and electricity do not get along. Even a milliamp uh, stray current getting into that water will twist the spine of the koi. Um, Rand hey, Randall, I didn't see you come in. Uh, I'd do a 1965 Randall. I don't think the ES44 AC was uh, available in I wouldn't go across the pond. I'd go around it and do something with the, the uh, if I were to do it. But again, my wife would shoot me. You see all those ferns? 
there's a waterfall uh, about halfway across the ferns. And like I said, I could have put a six inch piece of PVC and run a track through it. Then another one of my mysteries was that last by uh, level commuter car. Um, it just would not track properly. And I've got three other by level commuter cars. Kate, they're all Kato's run fine. But that cab coach, which is the one in the back, is slightly different and would not track. And, uh, it was derailing on like a 22 inch radius curve. Um, so what I did was eBay, somebody had a Rock Island uh, cab coach by level uh, for sale. They're cheap. Those are $100 cars. And uh, they're, the cab coaches have lights on the back and they all have full interiors. They're lightable with power pickups. Um, Someone had a Rock Island brand new nitro hobbies, I think it was, for like 54 bucks. So I snatched it up and it got here yesterday. And I put the Amtrak body on the Rock Island chassis. So, and then all those, the Amtrak's all got to be repainted because Amtrak didn't come into existence till what, 1972. But I've got the decals and everything to uh, put CBQ Burlington on them. And I got all the numbers that need to go on them, ready to go. Um, I just need a uh, airbrush kit. So that's my next, well, one of the next thing, computer airbrush. I did get the lighting, so um, it's not all about railroad. Thank you, Lee. I, th I You know, I think it works. Uh, the post, uh, maybe too thick but then again that's at the meat packing plant and the meat packing plant uh wasn't exactly uh prim and proper in the day uh for those that have seen the layout in other videos if looking this way well, looking this way behind here is a, is a rock wall and I've weathered it to include blood stains <laughs> dripping down from the meatpacking plant. I noticed the chain link wasn't all the way down. Yeah. And, you know, you go you get O or G scale on locomotives. We think, we think our uh, HO and N scale are uh, expensive. Shit. You know, I got, I don't have a camera car, but I've got an itty bitty camera. Got this little itty bitty camera and it, I stick it right on the nose of any one of my Jeeps to do my cab rides. Yeah, exactly, uh, Jason. It's, it's proto representative. Hell, it could be old, uh, big old fence post. You're absolutely right. Now, I'm seriously thinking about over here when I do the security fences of using that uh, wire. 
because I can I can uh, cut them the right length and I can bend that wire the way I want it. I can even put top and bottom rails on it. No, I haven't seen that, Jason. Now, I uh, had a friend out in Phoenix, a multimillionaire, with a uh, huge Lionel train set. I mean, huge. His guest house was devoted to Lionel trains. The, the ground floor was all display cabinets. And the basement, uh, there's a spiral staircase in the middle. And the basement was uh, uh, nothing but Lionel trains. And all of his engines had cameras in them. Okay. And he had monitors around the room where you can watch from the train going around. And that, it was so, so cool. Isn't, you can look him up on the internet, Tom, or look up Tom Blishock, B L I S H O U K, I think. Uh, look up Tom Blishock, Lionel Trains. He's been in uh, some uh, Lionel magazines back 10, 15 years ago. You know, I think any camera on a train will work. Um, but the day they come out with a wireless uh, camera in a, uh, a DCC Burlington engine, uh, CB and Q engine. I'll buy it. Of course, it'll probably be on my price range. Yeah, come on up, Rick. I put the link at the very beginning. I can post it again. Now that I'm done, we can just sit, talk, gab, see what all's going on. I can post it again. I just figured everybody's working. All right, John, you take care. Don't work too hard. You're writing code today or are you doing taxes today? Starting to be tax season. Okay, Jason. Oh, yeah, Randall. <laughs> My SD45s are back there. There's two of them hooked up. Then back there is an E7. And I've got... Two E89s under there. Bye, Pete.
Oh, you're not leaving, Pete. <laughs> Writing code today. Oh, boy. Hello, Flying Crow. Glad you could join us, man. One of these days this week, I got to get over to Lowe's and pick up some more masonite so I can do the backdrops. For oh, there's Lee. Hang on, Lee. I'll bring you up. Hello, Steve. Hello, Lee. I tell you now, have you seen the way my loft looks now? It's a lot brighter. Oh, yeah. You, before, you looked like you were modeling in the dark. Oh, well, I'm, I'm loving it. I've not long got up here. I've been busy and doing other stuff in the house. So she, the other half said to me, she said, do you want to go in the loft and mess with your layout? So I jumped her, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Flying Pro, I don't know how, how long you've been on. Um, but within an hour, I had 18 inches of fencing made. Yeah, and, I, I've been watching it from when you went and come on. Yeah, and it, 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 it not that hard. It's not the best in the world. I got to practice and do a little better on it, but um, I think it'll no, work. But tool, it, it'll yeah. work with the uh, cut, uh, toothpicks and the ID you're doing, it'll work. Oh, yeah. Because you know I do a lot of scratch building, and that, that's the way I do my fences. Um, I've got chain. I've got a video to bring out of chain link fencing that I'm going to make. I don't know if I'm going to bring it out as a video or do it as a live. I ain't decided yet. Yeah, I was just bored today, so I figured I'd, I'd stream and do it live. <laughs> as you do. As you do, it, 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 it's it's just uh, getting harder and harder. It's getting crazy. I'm just um, at the moment. I'm just do um, cutting matchsticks to make um, single ch dining room chairs. Uh -huh. Um, for me, <laughs> for a, a project I've got coming up. I'm not giving too much away yet. Yeah, Kieran, that's my my dog Penny. She will uh, lick it up. Mm. Yeah. I should have put the uh, camera on me uh, layout somewhere. Um, you can see the um, village a lot better. I'm, I've just noticed I've got a uh, light down that's not on. I've just locked up and I've got a light that's not turned on. Now it is. And we've missed it. I had the light not on. Because <laughs> the way I've done the lighting, I've, I can turn it all off if need be. Yeah. Yeah. Dead dog. Dead dog. Dead dog. Oh, uh, girl. Good girl. That's my penny. What's going on in here with it? What's going on? Yeah, Randall, the reason. I I go here at the moment because I've just uh, tangled. I've got my wires tangled. Catch uh, me all over. It's on Field Road. Well, this Full is the stuff, stuff in it. This is the play that I uh, uh, saw growing up. Yeah. I, hey, if anything technical goes wrong, who do we blame? We blame Heath. Heath. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we blame Heath on any technical difficulties. Well, I've only just started speaking back to Heath. I saw that he said hi to you the other day, or last night. Yeah. Um, I had a fallout with him, didn't I? Um, I've been speaking to him on Discord, and we've sorted the differences out, so, but I won't go on to into it. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, um, cause I, I speak to them all. I speak to most of the Americans on Discord, don't I? Yep. 
uh, it, it's looking well now your layout there's another yeah, idea um on doing your fences as well have you got much fence to try and make steve um i've got a fence in the uh pepper farm bakery here are you going to do the same fence for that well i'm going to use a chain link but it'll be different i think it, a, a that fence over there is not what I would call a security fence. A security yeah, fence has the bob wire, the slants, and the bob wire uh, yeah. strung across it. I so, need to bring my. Do you want me to bring my video out of my uh, chain link? Oh yeah, that'd be fine. The um, but I plan on using this piano wire. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I can bend point. this for the yeah. You uh, can bend. Yeah. Plants. Do you know what you want to use for the barbed wire at the top? I don't. I haven't figured that one out yet. Um, you know, now I'm not going to use. I don't want to use the 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 curly uh, razor wire, Constantina. No, I, I just want the barbed wire. Yeah, you want the barbed wire effect. I'm trying to find where my wire is now. I've got. I've got one. I should have had me. I should have had me uh, camera on my desk. Then I could have. Um, I'm trying to find. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Rick. I'm not on any YouTube, bro. Where is it? You know, you get a jewelry wire. I'm trying to find where my wire is. Just all right, right. Let me go to the other computer. Let me try that. I've got much on my shelves. Okay. You know what it's like. You have everything all over the place, don't you? Um, Hello? Ooh, I can't find it. I can't find me wire. Ah, oh, I got it. I've got me box of wire. Stay. I hear you. I'm just yeah. trying to find. Can you see Something. that wire? Stay. Yeah. That's jewelry wire. Jewelry wire. Okay. What you use? Well, you know what? Uh, you'll get it. You'll probably get it. Um, you'll probably get it. If you, have you got a Lowe's? Yeah, yeah, you'll get it at the Lowe's. It's. it's I, I definitely come in your in the American streams too much to know what the shops you've got there. <laughs> so where are at Lowe's? You'll get it in the crafting section, won't you? you if you've got a crafting section in lo your Lowe's, you'll get it in the crafting section. There's no crafting section in the Lowe's. Mm. It's a home improvement center. It doesn't have crafts. No, uh, don't it? Have you got a place that has craft stuff? Walmart. Yeah, Walmart, then. It'll like, that's Walmart. Where you yeah, you'll get it, Michael's. You'll get it, Michael's. All it is is called a jewelry wire. Okay. You can get it in all different colors. You can get it in red, brown. You should be able to get it all in different colors. Silver, gold. It comes in all different colors. That will what will make the... Um, I've actually made a wire fence out of matchsticks and flat the uh, jewelry wire but i've got to come up with an idea to weather the wire so it sticks it stands out now i, I like to figure out how, to, how to get to youtube studio i've been there but... why do you need to get youtube studio up um uh, rick was telling me how to make moderator oh yeah because yeah 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 you've got a live stream and you yeah, you you do you know you don't need to do it through you don't need to do it that way. You can do it through YouTube, you know. That's what I'm trying to do. Just bring YouTube. You know, your YouTube itself 
the you're live. Yeah. Just bring that up. Who are you trying to make a moderator? I was gonna make Rick a moderator. Yeah. Got, have you got your YouTube open now? Um almost. Trying to make a moderator. <laughs> Mute it. <laughs> yeah, I muted it. Right, go next to his name with your mouse. I'm gonna find him. Hang on. Uh, and it'll, it'll, right. it'll give you an option either make it to make him mod. Have you got it? You're, Rick, you are now a moderator. Yeah, no problem. I don't fancy I don't mind helping you out there, Steve. Yeah, no, it just gives it, it means if you do get trolls in it is handy to have one. You're have smart. You yeah, he's been, he's been smurfed, Danny. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Randall. <laughs> he's a baby smurf. <laughs> it'd rather be a smurf than a Christmas tree. Green, blue, you know, hey. Yeah, talk about that, Rick. The Christmas tree. Put the link in because you're blue to the uh, live. Hey, Dave. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it, Steve? To put the link in for the uh, live that he's involved in. I already put the, put the link in for what? He already... Did he? I already put the link in. Did yeah. Cool. <laughs> that, that, cool. I, I never forget that, that night. It was hilarious. Oh, the link for his what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put the link in for that. That's on Jason's. Yeah. Put, yeah, put it on, in for Jason's channel, uh, Rick. Everyone will go over to that. <laughs> did me it did make the day that low didn't it it did make a day oh. yeah, uh, yeah there's other ways uh, on i've got a you know i like doing a lot of scratch building if you ever get stuck on making bits of fences stay you've got me email just chuck me an email Oh yeah, and I'll give you some. But it does work with the jewelry wire. The idea of the jewelry wire works brilliant. Oh, there's a Jason. Hang on. What's up? What up, Jason? All right, so you... Lee was saying something about me, I, or I heard my name Jason, but I know there's two other Jasons, so we were what's going on? About, we were talking about Rick, uh, Rick and the Christmas tree. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, God is correct, isn't it? Hey, just wait for uh, Heath's plan for Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah, well, I, 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 I'm back talking to Heath now. Well, awesome. Yeah, I've, I've talked it out. Um, I'm not going to go into too much. I'll I'll message you on Discord and tell you. Yeah, I've got. I don't want it because I'm on Steve's channel. Hey, Steve, uh, change your camera yes. selection at the bottom. I was about to tell him that. Yeah, and he, he's got the other options, and he's got. Yeah, right under what? the cameras. I think it might be the third one. It is. It's the third one. I think. What are you talking about? On uh, StreamYard. Yeah. Select the third option under, you know, the view. The setting? Yeah, so that way it's not like camera, camera, camera. You space it out. Oh, I see what you're saying. There you go. There, there you go. He's getting used to it. Are you in work, Jason? No, I'm on lunch break. I'm actually sitting at the railroad tracks. Uh, Maybe a train will come today. <laughs> I caught three yesterday. I know. I did see the videos. Well, um, 
So I started working on for January's, and actually, while I was down here on lunch yesterday, I caught three. Oh, nice. How was your vacation? Uh, vacation was pretty good. Went to, uh, I was hoping to go and check out Iron Planet Hobbies, which is uh, one of Heath's sponsors. Yeah. And they had so much winter weather that it just was not going to happen. Uh, that's not good. No. And connect he's got a pull. I, I didn't know he had that little bit of a pull out thing. Oh, yeah. cool. I like this, that. Oh. This one swings around, and then see the other bridge here. Oh, Drops down. And then there's a uh, my harbor scene sits here. <laughs> oh, nice! All right, it it's on a roll. It's on rollers. <laughs> cool. on the, you can't see me, but it's on rollers under here. Oh, when it comes out. So if, if anybody's wondering why I keep looking that direction, I can see maybe five five to ten miles down the track because oh, there's a bend. We so can't do I'm, that on ours. I can't believe how close you get to your tracks. We can't do that. Well, I'm I'm sitting in a. I mean, here I'll show you exactly where I'm at. Whoops, hold on, wrong one. <laughs> Wrong one. You're probably closer than we can get, though, Jason. All right, so I'm sitting in my truck, right? Yeah. There's the railroad. You're closer than we can get. You know, I mean, let me roll it out my window. Yeah. So this is all I do on my lunch break is I sit here. But back that direction, the uh, tracks bend a little, and I can see it more out of my rear view or my back window than my front one. Yeah. But if you look above the red car, I mean, I can see headlights five, ten miles away. Oh, my. That is that is unbelievable. And it's because there's a bend in the tracks, and then there's a slight bend um, that direction there. So, yeah. And, of course, there's four railroad crossing gates here. So once I see one of them starts dinging, I got plenty of time to get out and get the camera rolling. Oh, yeah. I... Oh, yeah. All right. So there's a the whole thing, Lou. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. I do like that. I like your bridge that you've got there. Which one? The one that you, the one that you've pulled back. Oh, the swing bridge. Yeah. The swing bridge on the swing bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I've got, I've got a, I've got a project to build of a bridge. Um, and we know who's good at doing the bridge. We could, I could ask the bridge guys. They're eh? good at uh, building bridges. Grandpa Rails and a uh, shave and um, Ray and Rick. Ray and Rick, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Rick, uh, you were gonna post the link to the uh, on Jason's channel of the uh, um, Christmas tree, Christmas special. Steve, did you make Rick a moderator? I yeah. did. So he's yeah. a Smurf now. Yeah, he's been, yeah. <laughs> he's been smashed. <laughs> he's been smashed. He 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 didn't know how to do it, and then I sh told him he just needs to open YouTube, and you've got the uh, things next to it, and just do yeah. it. It's easy to do. Who who've we got for? Side well, unfortunately, because I'm doing this on my cell phone, I can't see the chat. 
Yeah, I can either I, see what y'all are doing or the chat. I can't get both. Yeah, right. who's got sidetrack Sunday this Sunday? Um, let's see. This yeah. Sunday it will be on Heath's channel. I'll be there. I look forward to seeing what he's got planned. It's John and Heath, then Jason, then Ray. Yeah, and then Rick. I mean, yeah, yeah, occasionally Rick. Yeah, occasionally the Christmas tree. When you guys let him, when you guys let him out to play. Yeah. 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 If you let if you let him out to play in it. <laughs> uh, he is a late. I've been up on. I've been up on a couple of panels now. With uh, I get up on a load of panels now with my layout. Really? Oh, well, now that we can see it, yeah. <laughs> it was so never... dark we couldn't see it before. Oh yeah, I should be. I think I'll move my camera. Let me turn my camera off, and I'll put it on a scene somewhere. That's what I like. Um, where am I going to put it? On a scenes, one of my village scenes. I'm just gonna do that now. Move chair. Oh, go over that way. Go and lose yourself. Go on, chair, lose yourself. Um Lee, it sounds like a tornado's running through your loft over there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh Steve. Yeah. Earlier, we were talking about the uh, camera cars. Yeah. So, I installed a spy camera in a Atherm Blue Box dummy F7. Oh, a dummy, okay. And it's uh, completely wireless, so I can actually watch it on my phone as it's going around the layout. Oh, it's wireless? Yes. Huh. So... Um, I posted a video, God, that was probably June, July, on that. Yeah. And even did a test one, too. So, And the way I got the camera set up, it's not in the dead center. It's on the engineer side, so you actually get the engineer's view. Cool. Now, did you do an overlay of, like, cab view? It, the camera's seen, inside the cab. I know, but I've seen uh, uh, cab ride videos where somebody's put in like the cab view, the interior of the cab, and you're looking. No, I no, I didn't go that far. Um, I know who you're talking about. You're talking about uh, Josh uh, NS Modeler Twenty Four. What he did was just took a standard cab ride with his GoPro on a flat car. And then added and, and then he added an overlay to make it look like right. Right. you're riding in. My camera is actually installed inside the locomotive. So things appear closer on the engineer side than the fireman side. Okay. Or the conductor side, brakeman side, whatever side you want to say. There's one of my oh, villagers. Oh, man. Do what? There's one of my villagers, huh? Yeah. This city guy here just blocked me. Oh. Oh. Had a guy just pull up right beside me, and he blocked me. Oh, so no. I to, yeah, I might have to move the truck on the other side of him. Oh, no, man. Not what you want, Jason. No, check I'll, this out. I got to put the camera back over. All right. Look how many empty spots are over here. And he go, he has to go right next to you? Yeah, on the other side. That's just crazy. Like, why? Why? I was mini train. I was, I was little train freak. He's good. He's doing his school stuff. He's at home. He's homeschooled, so. Yeah. No, he, he, I tell you now, he definitely takes after you, though, don't he? <laughs> the yeah, I think he takes, more, he takes more after his mom than me. 
<laughs> but yeah, he likes running the trains when you've got them running. That is the only thing he does like. He he hates the building part of it. Yeah, he'll run them all day with you, but yeah, he doesn't like getting involved in the building, does he? <laughs> no, he hates it. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, he's only nine, so I'm hoping to maybe coax him a little farther as he gets a little older. Yeah. Where's that plug? I need to find it. I'm trying to find it. Where's the plug? Now, he does help me as far as, like, when I do my tortoise switch installs. Yeah. Um, he'll be – he's kind of my eyes above. So, like, while I'm up under the layout – trying to make sure I got the tortoise in the right position that I want it. He'll be, you know, I'll have, hold it up there and kind of move the uh, actuator over. And he'll let me know if the track, the throw bar slides all the way or if it doesn't. Yeah. So he does help me with things like that. Yeah. Well, that's nice. That's a big help. Yeah. Yeah, it's an extra pair of high eyes, isn't it? Well, especially when you know, it's it's one thing that you got to have eyes up under and above at the same time. Oh, yeah. I, I miss it when I'm doing this. I've got no one when I'm doing certain stuff on this. I ended up having to get through a gap that my belly only just fitted through. I thought I was going to get stuck. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, you think you guys got a bad? I'm a 62 year old fat man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true. I'm not saying nothing to that. Though, you don't have to agree with me, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would I agree with you, Steve? And you were, and you were far too quick. <laughs> and then that's because I'm shoving my mouth full. Yeah. Have you seen that, Jason? The church has slit up. Do what? The church scene. Slip up, watch this. I'll just turn it off. No, I can't see the chat. No, the picture of my church. The, the picture that's on screen now. Who? Oh. Come on, chat it. I'm, I'm so confused right now. The church. I, the church. The oh, the church. church. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, uh, it's very blue light. Very blue light. Yeah. Yeah. Is that got stained glass on it or? No, it's clear. I think I need to go for stained glass to make it stand out, don't I? Yeah, I think if you put a stained glass, if, what kind, what color LED is that? Is that a bright white or what kind of? It's color? the you know the uh, long long ones you cut and solder the wires on. The strips. It's one of them. Gotcha. Um, yeah, it's one of them. And then I've got next to it, I've got me memorial server, me memorial as well. I'm just building me walls at the moment for in front of the church. Out of that, I've well, I've done half of them out of Daz Clay. Um, they're there. I've got more to still build for it. I need to take the camera further over. Well, I'm trying to do too many things at once on mine. I'm, I'm not, I'm not. That I've decided with mine now. I am concentrating on one scene at a time. Are you? I draw. I go back and forth on different things. You know, I used to, but oh. I'm trying to get my church finished. Oh, but right, I no, concentrated. I'm... I concentrated on. The industrial plot, uh, park down there first, but I'd still hop around when I got into something. I was waiting on parts or whatever. I'd hop somewhere else. So I was working yeah. on the meat plant at the same time. It's like like me at the moment. I'm waiting for my church walls that I've made in Daz clay. I'm waiting for them to dry. So I'm working and then, on something else. Yeah, and then. Now I'm working on my Cicero engine uh, servicing facility in my Downers Grove Fairview uh, area. Yeah. 
Well, I still have a lot more to do. I, I, you know, I've got a farm scene back there. I've got my Aurora roundhouse to go in. Yeah. In years, years from now, uh, more Western suburbs over here. But. Yeah. Well, I still got half a layout to build. I was, yeah, you still got quite a bit to build, do not you? Um. Tortoise switch machines install. I got to do oh, yeah. scenery. Um, I've done a lot. The, the projects I'm focusing on now is, you know, the um, one area of the industrial complex where the um, Shack and Sit Furniture, Passmore Gas Company, and Juicy J's Meat Company is going to be at. So I'm working on trying to get that area um track wise functional um I, yeah. you know i got those backdrops in for the uh, balloon loop for level one i need to get that done which when i get that done then i can continue on scenery for that yeah so uh, i need to take the camera lower now uh, to get me when you see this jason for a viaduct I've gone too low with it in the camera now. <laughs> well, that look good. Oh, wow. Well. That didn't look... Oh, what's going on now? It's getting a lot of lag. I can't wait to get multi-cameras on the layout. That's what I want to do. Yeah, make it easier, because I'm going to get, uh, is it uh, something split, cam split. I'm, I'm going to get that cam split. Oh, focus camera. Focus. Oh, take that chair back there. Stand. I should have. Oh, she's not focusing. She's gone blur. Mm. It's got to have moved it that many times. Oh, I hate camera. I can't well, wait. I guess the uh, rail traffic is pretty dead today. Is it? There ain't nothing happening. Ah, uh, hey. Unplug it and re unplug it. Jason, this says you think you look like you robbed the bank. <laughs> I forgot my stick was in. Yeah, Jason cannot see the chat, guys. Yeah, no. Yeah, my stick has just said, Jason, you look like you've robbed a bank. That's what he, he's just said. <laughs> he's an patriotic bank robber. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I think I got my stage in here, too. Hold on. He's now for the the uh, getaway. The, it's the getaway van. <laughs> uh, this is the Rob the Bank look right there. Yeah, that <laughs> is. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> Looks like a unibon. Yeah. There's the viaduct there now, Jason. Yeah. Um, there's a story behind that. I, that was here when I moved here. I didn't build that. What's that? The viaduct. Half of this layout was here. A U of it was here. I didn't build it. That viaduct looks good. Oh. Um, the there is a story behind my layout. Uh, half of the layout was here. I come up in the loft to put stuff up here. And I ended up, as I come through the loft, that my head hit yep. the board. 
and I found it, the layout, and I just carried it on. Steve, is that you causing an echo over there? I got a train running. Well, somebody's causing an echo. It's not me. I seem to be causing an echo. I don't have anything other than streaming online. Have you got your YouTube views, Ed Stay? My what? Yeah. There's no YouTube. Me. Ha ha ha. Nothing on is this. Is this me? You're probably hearing the E7 running around the world. Yeah, it was me. Yeah, I was plugged in. I was plugged into my power speakers. It was you, Lee. Come on now. <laughs> Yeah, it was me. I'll hold my hand up to that one, Jason. You got, I got, I got blamed. I couldn't blame Heath on that one. <laughs> yeah, blame Heath. Even though, I could still blame Heath, even though it wasn't Heath. Yeah. We'll still say it's his fault. Everything's yeah. his fault. Well, this layout is 26. It takes the full length of the, the loft up. 26 foot long, and I've got the industrial area down the bottom. I've got two single, two loops, a continuous loop with no side ends. That's track two that I would just run in, passenger trains all the way around. And then so, what are you running? Like a four track main? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm on, but I'm not on DCC. So you're running you're are you dc yeah yeah okay yeah and uh, you can talk behind me i'll i'll put my camera so my control panel the controllers I'll go down to the controllers There's my control station. All right, give me this. All right. Well, I need to. Oh, okay. Gotcha. My yeah. That's my control station. Uh, I've only just got. I I can't afford to go DCC. The problem I've got is well, most of the locos I run are the old Triang home before Hornby. What we have in Britain and the hard to hardwire for DC. Yeah. So I'm better off keeping keeping cheerful, aren't I? Yeah, I know converting. If you if you got like a big collection of DC and you try to go to DCC, I know it gets expensive quick. Yeah, and I just I have got any. I ain't got the money to put into it. I got like when we with this big showstopper as we say i got laid off like the first lockdown with my job yeah so i'm i'm just i'm just doing the railway the rail railway on a budget at the moment i still have a handful of locomotives that still need converted to dcc you'll do it in time. yeah oh yeah i'll get to it in time um but see i'm not going straight to dcc i'm going dcc plus sound oh are you that's the way yeah. you do it yeah i, want to I mean it's, it's like once you get a sound locomotive on the layout it's like why would i want to run anything with no sound you know yeah i want I, to be I, able to control the horn i want to be able to control the bell you know if i yeah disconnect it i want to hit the coupler button you know yeah Yeah, it is all. It is all sport tryers, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I said to put the camera back on and hopefully it's in focus. Oh, look what you can just see in the in the, uh, see there, Jason. Yeah, I see the full length. Yeah, no, I'm on about it. if you look side on to it, you can see my stars and stripes flag that's flying in the loft. Mm-hmm. 
I thought, no. I thought, I, I had it spare. Because I'm into, I like me American vehicles. I thought, I've got to fly the Air Stars and Stripes flag. I thought, I had to be done. Yeah? Is it not cold up there? No, it's insulated and I've got a heater. I've got it all boarded out. It's all done properly. Gotcha. Hey, Rick. I'm, one of my tips of the day is how to do coal load on a hopper. It's no different for a gondola. Talking about coal loads? Um, yeah. John Arthur. If you're not subscribed to him, you need to go find him. He did a killer video for coal for uh, HO scale. Yeah, I've, I am subscribed to him. I've seen it. Yeah, John Arthur. He, he grounded up charcoal. Yeah. Like regular charcoal cooking briquettes. Yeah. Grounded it up, and that's his coal. Oh, um, yeah. I, 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 I use activated carbon. Do what? I use activated carbon. Yeah. Right, yeah. That, you, that you use in like a pool filter, or aquarium filter, and then ground it down some more. Yeah, that looks good too. Yeah. And you just apply it on a base of uh, either foam, uh, some balsa wood, etc. And then put some magnets underneath it. Because if you put the magnets underneath it, then you can take it in and out, in and out, if you're doing mm -hmm. operations like me. There's the ones yeah. I've made, Jason. I've done ballet. I've used ballet on a piece of polystyrene. There you go. You know, trains work better when you set the switches right. Yeah. yeah. All that was was I got a piece of uh, poly the uh, polystyrene and put ballet on it. It so worked. I haven't. I haven't made any coal. Uh, loads for any of my hoppers, but I have done the wood chips. Oh, how did you do them ones, Jason? Uh, I did those several months ago. Um, I have used you got salt a... dust. Oh, have you got a, is a video on your channel of that? Yes. I'll go, I'll go and try and find it. I know you won't mind me having a look at it. Seeing that no. Can do a... Yeah, go hey. look at it. I will do. I'll go and have a look at that. It was probably before I started probably following you, subscribe to it, you on it. it. It could have been. Um, it was one of my earlier videos. Um, yeah. But I, I put, I glued magnets underneath them so that way I could take a magnetic one and pull them out. Yeah. So that That's way one. I'm sending empties over to the sawmill. And then when I go and cycle my waybills, I will take them and slap them in the cars to make it look like they actually got loaded. Yeah. And then yeah. when they go to either the power plant or if they run over to, um, you know, into one of the staging yards, then I'll take them back out. Yeah. That's why uh, th those ones I you look good in there, the little curl hoppers. Yeah. But I have to get, to get them out, I've got to grab hold of them. I want to try and put them in a magnet. I think I'll do the magnet idea on my next one. Oh, Goody, the magnet it? idea is the best way to go. Oh, yeah. I, it, it, I will do it in time. But So know. since I'm running actual operations, any of my cars that are open or that you can see the load... Yeah, I have to make sure that it's removable. Yeah, I've got all my all my all my uh, ones that are that are going to be running out of my coal place. It's not even built in, even started on my industrial area yet. I've got my yeah. coal area done where my industry is, but it, the side end. But I've not even looked at down that end. A railroad's never finished, is it? No, it always evolves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, Everyone's I saying. I have a 100-pound sack of uh, activated carbon 
for my koi pond, and I took uh, my thing and I mashed up mint for uh, mint julep or uh, uh, oh what the oh god it looks like Caribbean drink with mint in them. Anyway, anyways, that and use that to grind up the charcoal. Yeah. Now I've got a, I think it's a Bachman. It's uh, a I'm not a I'm Rock not Island. Sure. It's a it's a Rock Island hopper open hopper car that someone glued like peb like little pebbles, you know, little oh, rock pebbles yeah. in there. Yeah. And I masked I masked it off and. Spray painted it with a gloss black years ago, uh, and then I weathered the car after it, and it looks okay, but it's just it doesn't really look like coal. And then of course it's not removable. I'm thinking yeah. about maybe selling that car. Yeah, you want it to look uh, regional, don't you? Well, I well, mean, almost, it's, you know, it's almost like, every, if it was. If I was just rail fanning, it would be okay, but I'm not. Yeah. So I don't want to send a loaded hopper car to the power plant and then it come back loaded. I mean, yeah. to me, it just doesn't make sense. No. Sure. So I might, I might either sell it or I might, I might give it away. I, I don't know yet. I haven't really decided what I want to do with it yet. Yeah. I, I'm, I, well, have you seen how many subs I'm at now, Jason? No, I haven't. Where are you at? Three fifteen. Hey, congrats! I I, I did, hit uh, I, I hit go away? before New Year's Eve my time. Are you going to do a Are you going to do a contest for three hundred? Are you going to wait till you get uh, more like five hundred? I'm. I need to do a contest. Uh, what well, it's deciding what I'm going to do. I need to look at it. I need to uh, look into it because I was involved. Um, I started off the new year. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Ken from Redneck Connections. Okay. I started hey, off. Andy. I started off the new year in the UK and ended up at twelve o'clock my time, and I got uh, uh, doing it with the uh, Redneck Connections on YouTube. He's he goes into he knows Toy Man and all this. And I ended okay. up I ended up getting the subs before I went live. Before well, I was live, but I got it before twelve o'clock and I couldn't believe I hit uh, three hundred before my twelve o'clock. I give myself an aim. Hey, not it, bad. Well it was considering I did not think I had hit what I've hit. I only done it. As a V vlog for retrain railway for my own personal use, and what happens? I go and hit the subscribers, but my content is getting better. I'm getting better with my videos. I've just got to look at my graphics more. Um, I need to do the hit to subscribe like you do. I think my, so to, I think my. Yeah, the echo's gone. Yeah, it was uh, I muted I my think, engine. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think it was your engine, Steve. I'll turn it back um, on. It was me. I mean, unless, unless your engine's playing YouTube audio in the background, which is... Oh, no. I mean, no, it was me. It was me, definitely. Um, I think my content is decent. Yeah. I think oh, mine yeah. is more... It's, it's, I, I mean, and I'm an amateur, you know, and I do all this through my cell phone, which has a really great camera. And of yeah. course I do mix my GoPro in it too, but it's just much easier for me to do it on my, on my phone. I just, I don't have the skills and the, and the knowledge to make it a more professional type video. Yeah. I'm the same. Okay. Have you watched any of my vid new videos I've done lately, Jason? I've watched a couple, um, and I'm having a hard time watching everybody's stuff because there's oh, just so is. much it's out there. Um, I might not, I might not comment on everything, but I'll watch, you know, at least 
part of it and thumbs it up, you know. Yeah. To try to I give use, everyone some help. I use either my phone or I fill with my webcam. If I'm doing something on the workbench, I'll fill with my webcam to the laptop. Or if I'm doing scenery, I sometimes like going live. Yeah. Well, I know tonight I've got a phone call with the with the guy that uh, does the uh, Shenandoah software. Um, for for those in the chat, I I can't see the chat. So if y'all have actually watched my operation series, I've had several people comment that the software is no longer there. The software is no longer there. Uh, the guy who created this software, which was back in the 90s, um, he is up there in age. Like, I think he's like 70, 80 something years old. And I'm working on a way to help him get it to where y'all will have access to that software. Ooh. So I've got that tonight. And then I've got to make a video to open up my 500 subscriber contest because I've already hit 475. Ooh, well, so, I'll be entering it. I'll be so, entering it. I need to well, do one, three, three. Well, the last winner was in scale, so I've got some really cool in scale um, box cars. There's three of them, and they're all micro trains um, that are that are going to be Ooh. for the in scale people. <laughs> um, they are factory <laughs> weathered. So. Nice. He said like that. Do what? He said like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, I think I already sent it. I sent Heath a picture of them. Uh, one is a Union Pacific, one is a Southern Pacific, and then the other one is a Rio Grande. Yeah. And I think two of them are 50 footers, and one is, no, two are 40 footers, and one's a 50. Yeah. They, they sound so. Nice. But yeah, they they look amazing. No, and it's and it's not a very heavy weathering. Like Micro Trains has done some with some real heavy weathering, and it just don't look good. These yeah. are with a lighter to mid weathering, and they they look phenomenal. Yeah. So I got to get that reopened. Of course, HO is still the uh, two um, rail gone gondolas, and then the uh, O scale is still the uh, cotton belt box car that's uh, limited yeah. edition. Yeah, I don't know. I, I hope my hand up. Anyone that can model, engage, I hope my hand up too. I could not do engage. It's just too small for me. Yeah, my fat fingers don't allow it. Uh, mine's the say I've got fat fingers. You don't allow it. <laughs> I did. I, so I did the decal for that Sidetrack Sunday car. Yeah, I remember. Oh, don't even go there. Oh. That was hilarious. <laughs> well, that was the HO one I tried to do when I did the in scale car. I bet you were definitely blinded. I had to. I had to have a magnifying glass. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't see how you in scale people do it. I. I don't. I, I know. Well, thing you just put in the chat there, Mystic. N scale rules. HO drew drools. <laughs> well, Mystic forgot that. Santa's favorite model train scale is H O H O and H O. <laughs> yeah, but that's also what he said uh, when he walked into the strip club too. But that's a uh, that's another story for another day. Yeah, that is. Well, I got I got a magnifying glass and I'm happy with for Christmas. Yeah, um, it's only a little one. I'll put it on camera. It makes a hand one. Now you know what they say about Z scale, right? No. The Z scale it's smaller than N. You can barely Z it. Yeah. That's my modifying glass I got. Yeah. I love it. It's ideal when you when you're doing stuff. Go on, what are you saying then, Jason? I think it interrupted you there. No, you're fine. Uh, no, but I was just making a joke about Z scale because it's so small you can barely Z it. Oh, yeah. It's like that double O double O nine track. Do we have that? That's um, 009, isn't it? There's a lot of people that run. It's like uh, Crazy Joe. He runs 
Okay. You, she uh, runs. So what she runs is O. I think it's O and thirty. It's yeah. Uh, it so it's it's O scale, but it's narrow gauge and it runs on HO track. Yep. So that's I think that's what they call O N thirty or O N three or something like that. Oh, I know that one, Mystic. I've, I've, I covered that with Jason. And <laughs> you know, Mystic's just put in chat. Jason joke zooming over your head. LOL. <laughs> I know. I, I just take your joke. I, 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 I just take it as it comes. You know me, Jason. Uh, I got plenty of jokes. Oh, I know that. Yeah, but but, but of course, if you knew this guy that I been hanging around with for the longest the one who owns the hobby shop it, he'll blow your mind uh, oh i'm not happy my model shop isn't open um our, ours is but he's only open one day a week uh because of the pandemic yeah well he, he he's been told he's not allowed to open he can we can order if we message him he can we can order what we want, but I need mean, we can go to the front door to pick it up. That's it. Gotcha. <sighs> but well, I'll tell you, uh, this guy's hobby shop has got to be the one of the coolest hobby shops of all because got... it's in it's in an old depot, and the uh, depot is I want to say it's a hundred and ten years old. So, yeah. I mean, how many right. hobby shops are in an actual depot? Not many. No. And he owns and, and and I've seen some hobby shops like in like you know, like a Grand Central Terminal or something, you know, there might be a little a hobby shop store and part of it. Yeah. No, he owns the whole thing. Yeah. So um, but he's got it set up to where the main entrance or the main room is where you know all the merchandise stuff is um you can even go sit in the operator's bay if you want to which is kind of like a bay window so you can see down the tracks and up the tracks um and then i'm trying to think what the next room is called it's not the freight room but there's another room yeah. um he's got it like set up as a small museum uh, with actual no. railroad artifacts and stuff and then up in the freight room, freight and baggage area, that's uh, where he does, that's like his storage and where he does all his repairs and stuff. Yeah. Mystics just put a question in the, in the uh, for you, Jason. A okay. question, Jason. Let me just get it. Um, a question for Jason. Railroad crossing boxcars, how do you spell them without an R or S, whatever he's all about. Rail, railroad custom box cars. Yeah, railroad co crossing box boxes. How right, do you? Pull, I'm gonna pull the chat up. Let's see comments. Railroad crossing box cars. How do you spell that without any R? L O crossing boxers. I guess that's what he's trying to say. Yeah, I don't get it either. I don't get what he's on about. Mystic, I'm just gonna assume you're saying L O crossing or cussing boxers. Yeah. So it, it got me puzzled when I was trying to read it, didn't it? Had me puzzled, Jason. Mystic had me puzzled, and it's not much of the conversation getting to, uh, with Mystic. Yeah. Oh, oh. Chat's back up. That. T H A T. That. So, as far as y'all with the chat, I can either see the screen with Lee and Steve and myself. Or I can see the chat. I can only do one or the other. Yeah, because you're on phone. Cause, cause I'm, yeah, because I'm using my phone. I'm on mobile. Which yeah. I'm fixing to have to leave here in a few minutes because my lunch break's about over, and today's just a dead railroad day. 
Yeah. Well, are you going in? Are you going to be in Sparkies tonight? Uh, I might be. It's Wednesday. I'm hoping I can get everything done. I mean, I've got that guy calling me, which I think's about the time Sparky starts. Oh. Uh, so, well, let's see. Sparky's what? Seven o'clock Eastern. Yeah, seven o'clock Eastern. It's twelve. Yeah, minutes. and that's that's the time the guy's calling me. So you may not go uh, right. I might not be in right away, but I will try to get in there. Yeah, well, if I don't, I'll catch. Uh, what other streams have we got this week other than that? Um, I might, I might try to get in Michael McCarvel's. Uh, yeah, if I can't make Sparky's because Michael's always after Sparky. Yeah, um, he is. Well, I you thought Sparky go. was taking a couple of weeks off. I don't know if I don't know if he's live tonight. I don't know it. I know he mentioned on the Christmas show that him and Vinny did that they were going to. He was going to take a couple of weeks off, but he decided to go ahead and get live on last week to announce the winners. Yeah, I don't know. His, like, his, I'm Christmas not sure. Contest. I'm only just. A, it's unusual Wednesday night. I just thought he may do. We'll, we'll does, see. If you don't, does I, anybody I, in the chat know? Yeah, does anyone in the chat know? I don't know it yet, you know. Yeah, Rick's asking the same thing if he's taking the night off. I think he is. I think he's taking the night off. Yeah, I think he has. Yeah. I can't remember what the legend it is. Yeah, I, I can't remember. He, he did say something. I can't remember off the top of my head. You better get back to work, Jason. Yep, I got to leave. I got I got to be back in five minutes, so. Okay, take it easy, mate. Stay safe. Yep. Stinks I couldn't get y'all a train today. I was going to try. No, you yeah, you tried. You can, you've got next time, mate. Yeah, I, you know, I am uh, I think maybe if uh, Trackside Beans back on track, if they're on another day or Steve wants to get back on, I'm always up for coming down here and trying to catch some trains for y'all, so. Yeah, well, I may, I may, I may, I may do a live at some point. Um, I'm not sure when, I'll, and I do do it through Streamyards. Okay. Uh, take it easy. I'm gonna keep quiet. Wait. Okay, oh, Randall. Like Randall Ellison said, "Yeah, I think Sparky's off tonight. Seems like that's what he said on Wilmer's live stream last night. So." Yeah, I forgot about that. I was in yeah, Wilmer's. Yeah, that's what oh, I yeah. think I had now thinking about it. Gotcha. All right, y'all. We well, all well, take care. Be safe out well, there. And join the late. Do what? I was going to say, for What's those that join the late, um, there's the uh, chain link fence. It looks good. It does. Right here around the tree. <laughs> it looks good. And he's used, he's used the right thingies for it. Just uh, like I said, Steve. Just say they're utility poles if you feel like they're too thick. Yeah. Your guy, your guy got some used utility poles from the power company, and he cut them down to size. Yeah, that's what he said. And then the I, side I, I, the I, with the sixties, uh, they uh, used whatever they had. Yeah. Well, and I, I'll tell you, there is a house maybe a mile or two up the road from where I live, and his uh fencing is literally utility poles with uh, galvanized wire uh, stapled to it. Yeah. yeah. I believe it. So, and that's what he's got his horses in. Yeah. So I guess if it works, it works. Yeah, I, I've got, I use uh, I use the uh, jewelry wire to make uh, barbed wire on my chain link fencing. Yeah. So, all right, well, y'all, I'm going to sign off because it's probably not <laughs> safe for me to be driving and doing all of this. Oh, so. This is a Rick Bailey green tree inspection. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, y'all, y'all be safe out there. I'll holler y'all later. See Bye. you later. Bye. Time. Later, Jason. Uh, that, was a, that was a good conversation, that, actually. Yeah, I can't believe we've been going for two, two hours and 20 minutes. I know. You'll, uh, you'll be calling it shortly, won't you, Stay? Yeah.
uh, uh, I'm, I don't know where I, I may do a live. I'm not, I may do a live st st um, tomorrow. Um, I may do a live tomorrow about tomorrow evening. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, you did say that, Randall, but I don't know if he said that for tonight. Yeah, and I'm not sure on that one either, Randall. He did say he was going to take time out thinking about it, and I think yeah, he did. Yeah, he's going to do. He's going to do. A live stream, I think once a month, but you may do a GoPro another time. Yeah, I think that's what I remember I'll remember it back on now. I just, if I jog my memory back, that's what he was on about. Yeah. Well folks, I think yeah. you're going to down. Well, thank you for having me on, Steve. And no, I'll really. see, I'll probably see you there. Are you going I'll probably see you in the streams around if we've got any on. Oh, uh, yeah. Take care. Stay safe. And thank you. you Kathy. Thank you. Bye all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Y'all take care. Have a great day.